All right, y'all. So I've got a an older Murray mower with the bicycle wheels on it. I've had it almost a year. I still haven't, didn't figure out what I wanted to do with it quite yet. It's got around a three and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton on. Just a 22 inch cut. Looks like it. Well, the engine on it was transplanted because it originally said it was a five and a half horse, but I don't remember a five and a half horse having a carb diaphragm, but this mower is older than I am, so I could be wrong. Um, before I took the carburetor gas tank off, it did fire um, on starter fluid. The deck, I mean, it's in okay shape. It's not great, but it's still usable biggest thing was it had these front wheel assemblies here they were the ball bearing wheels and they were really brittle and ended up breaking off and as you can see the assembly has been well used and well rusted so i found a couple of new wheel assemblies i'm going to try and put on the deck here as you can see the assembly area is in Good shape on the deck for the wheels not too much wear on it I'm gonna try and retrofit these Husqvarna wheels on it um, here are the old wheel height adjusters you can see where this right here uh, kind of nudges itself into the deck to keep it from going back and forth like that it's actually on this Husqvarna wheel assembly which is essentially a craftsman wheel assembly it's actually on the opposite side so what I think I'm gonna have to do is use I think we use these holes right here that are existing on the mower I'm gonna have to drill one in in kind of in between uh, for where the bolt lies and I'm going to put the wheels on and hopefully that'll get it up and get it steady at least and then we can work on the engine a little bit so I drilled a couple holes and I got these new wheels on it they actually look great on the mower here and they fit right and they're latched on if we can get in here I can show y'all I got it latched in there drill kind of a hole a little bit offset from those four that were in a line and uh, everything's steady and everything's looking good so far. Now we can work on getting the mower running. So I've got the old Murray apart. I took the head off of it and as you can see it's it's pretty dirty in there. I don't know how long it's been since the oil's been changed. I don't know how long it's been since it's actually been run very good. At least a few years I'd say given the condition of what it looked like when I when I bought it with the uh, lot of about 30 mowers or so that I got in March of 2016 but I'm just gonna lube up lube up the pull rope return here I'm gonna find a, a ground wire I'm gonna free this throttle mechanism up a little bit and uh, Put it all back together and get a carved diaphragm on it. So I got the head cleaned. I got it back together. I know I'm going to have to put a muffler on it if, if it runs. Because that one's got a hole in it and it's all rusted out. And just to show you how dirty the oil is. If you didn't see it when the head was off. It is almost like dirt in there <laughs> if you look at the dipstick and then what's on the dipstick there it's pretty dirty so I'm gonna put some different oil in it to get it running and then I'll have to do something with the safety cable here too I got the uh, got the ground wire back on so I'm gonna do my little zip tie rig which I will show you show you a little bit later in this video Well, I drained the oil out of it, and like I said, these mowers, I think when I picked them up, had been sitting for years because a lot of them were under trees and had weeds and stuff growing all around them. And tell them by the remnants of what's here in the drain pan, I would say that, yeah, 
This thing's been sitting a while. Got a little bit of mud in there. Thankfully, it's not gray. And uh, when it drained out, it looked good. But yeah, that's some old oil with some water in it, with some dirt in it. A little bit of everything in, in this engine. Let's put a little bit better oil in it this time. All right, so this Murray, I finally got my carburetor diaphragm ordered. And this is actually a metal carburetor, so it's a pretty pretty old one, pretty well built, stood up to the test of time pretty well. Um, we're going to put the carb diaphragm on this gas tank and put it back on the mower. So I got the diaphragm out of the box. You have to kind of connect those, that spring to the tabs that are on the bottom of the diaphragm here going to set it inside its casing and I'm going to I have to do it with two hands but set it inside here feed this rod up through the hole in the carburetor or the hole in the carburetor here and connected to that little plastic plastic tab there and so that's what I'm going to do next and I'll get it on the mower So I've got everything back on the mower now. Uh, I found a better spring for it. Um, it wasn't all broken and rusted. Put the diaphragm on, the five screws in, and the little screw on the side, and bolted it to the engine with a 3 8 inch bolt, and then the spacer and the half inch bolt there. And so we'll put gas in it, and We'll see if this thing runs. Alright, so I'm going to give this thing a start. I haven't heard it run yet myself, so let's, uh, let's see what it does. Looks like it's got a lot of smoke to burn off. But she is alive. stopped smoking uh, I ended up change, going ahead and changing the oil in it uh, I had to do a little bit of lubing up on the uh, pull rope handle I'd say not bad for a mower that hasn't run in a few years Well, here is the finished product of the Murray after I've washed it off. Cleaned up decently well for how old it is. Um, again, I think this engine was substituted on because uh, it says that it was originally a 5.5 horsepower engine on the deck. Um, usually the 5.5 horsepower, at least I don't think, uh, come with the carb diaphragm. And this model number on the engine is 1989. Um, my guess is the deck is probably around that old, maybe even early to mid 90s. Um, but yeah, let me sh just recap what all I did to it. 
so I put the front wheels on it and I got the ground wire or the ground over here to work again I moved the ground wire um, ground wire wasn't connected I replaced it and lubed up the pull rope put a carb diaphragm in it put an air filter on it and sharpened the blade again the decks in okay shape for its age and just gave it some fresh gas cleaned out the gas tank um, and I think that's all I did to it so uh, let me get this thing out and it's already out and let me get this thing started for you so you can hear its final run all right let me get this thing started it might take a few tries since I just washed it but let's see what it'll do too bad right after I washed it. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I'm actually surprised I got this one going. It always makes you feel good when you get a mower going that you didn't think you were going to, or that didn't think you had a chance with. So, yep, that was fun. Um, this was just kind of a fun little winter project since I already fixed everything else I had. Um, probably won't be more than a $50 mower for somebody, but hopefully it'll give them um, some life and... I know the, especially the older folks like the uh, bicycle type back wheels on it. So hopefully this will sell well and sell quickly and I'll move on to my next find. Um, hope y'all found this interesting. Um, getting this old Murray back to life. And again, thank you guys for watching.